Okay. First, welcome back to Strange Horticulture, I think. <laughs> the reason I sound so skeptical is because I just tried to do this intro, hit continue, and it started me over on a new game. I'm not exactly sure. See, it just started me on a new game. I didn't want to start a new game. Okay, either way, I tried to start this today and then it booted me out. And then either way, let's pick up where we were on day 13. I got really weirded out because I hit continue when I came in and it kicked me back to the beginning of the game. <laughs> and I was like, oh no, what did I do? <laughs> okay, so where we left off last episode was getting this card clue and it's end more raven spider and obviously the only solution and option is to go hunting so we need to find and maybe i'm wrong but if we can see here there is a raven and also a spider so raven spider but we can't have two locations so i'm a little stumped about that we need to whoa whoa whoa! we need to try to find a place and i'm guessing and i may be wrong i'm assuming there's a place called endmore here just because that sounds like it should be a location i mean we have under undermere is where we're at so <laughs> meat hop i want to go to meat hop uh let's see Hmm. I don't really see Endmore anywhere. Uh-oh, maybe I'm wrong. Ah, here we are. Okay. Endmere Raven is here. Doesn't that seem weird that that one's darker? And the spider is this one. But I can't have two locations, so we go to Endmere first. We go to the raven next, and then we go to the spider. Fingers crossed. <gasps> yes, awesome. A jackdaw croaks hidden somewhere nearby. Strange shapes of old stones pierce the long grass. Among them, some plants grow. <gasps> Ooh, goody goodies, gimme gimme. <sighs> I feel like this is the one that we were looking for in our other um, elixir. Do, do 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 let's put our goodies back. Um, I want to move you down here by the white ones. And then you up over here. I don't really have green ones, and that's not really a flower, is it? The bulbs look soft and in fact quite hard. A five-pointed leaf to grant courage. Ooh, is this a seed pod? Bobbles look soft. Hmm. I'm not even going to jump into that. First, I'm going to start the day and take our first customer. Grace and Enright. Um, have you heard of this masked woman? Imagine having that amount of power. Nations would kneel before you. You would, be, you would be a god. That creature, it's huge, unstoppable, and they say it obeys her every command. It would certainly come in helpful with my father-in-law tomorrow. I guess I'll just have to settle for some Daisy Doc to help me through it instead. I feel like we've already discovered Daisy Doc. We have not. Ooh, it was this one, is what I think. A simple potion that will grant courage can be brewed from the leaves. It is said that ancient warriors can take it before going into battle. And if we look, these are literally the same leaves, so we're just gonna roll with it. And we are right. The Daisy Dock. Um, a simple potion, you ingest it. So we will go yellow. Oh my goodness. Daisy Dock. Beautiful, beautiful. We have the ability to travel, but instead... What's up, my bro, David? 
This letter was delivered in an unusual way. There was no address provided, just the horticulturist spelled wrong. <laughs> I have to assume it was meant for you. Great assumption. Let's see what he says. If you know your plans, this letter is for you. Um... If you know your plans, this letter is for you. <gasps> oh ho, so you got it working. Oh yes, yes, it works, it works. Look to the north of Baufell at the source of the river, Esk. Nobody knows it grows there. It would be our little secret, ho ho. Okay, so clearly... We must travel, and I forgot the place that it just told me to look. <laughs> Wait, wrong. Wrong device. Look to the north of Baufell at the source of the river. Okay, where's Baufell? Um, um, um. Backfoot, black, um. Back barrel, wit barrel. I forgot the name of the place already. Beckfoot? That's not what it was, was it? <laughs> Baufell. To the north of Baufell. Do we see Baufell anywhere? Baufell. Um... Am I just not seeing it? Am I just incorrect? Baufell. Okay, look to the north of Baufell. I think this is it. Sure enough, I find a plant here that I've never seen before. Ooh. I think we'll put you down here in a weird spot between the black and the white. Archive this puppy. Put you away. Um, I don't remember what all of these say. This is telling me about the disc. This is the guide to fungus, and then this was the elixir. A seed pod. I don't know if I have the seed pod. We'll we'll hold off on these for a little bit. Thora Dunn. My husband likes to forage for mushrooms, but I'm worried about the ones he's brought back from his latest adventure. Not adventure. Venture. He's been on a trip across the lake exploring the woods to the west of here. Across the lake exploring the west. Okay. He's got a bag full of odd-looking mushrooms that he says are perfectly safe, but they don't look edible to me. I'd have brought one with me to help identify, but he's hoarding them because he thinks I'm going to throw them out. I'll come back tomorrow. Mm. Mushrooms woods west of Undermere across the lake. Okay, so it can only mean one thing. West of Undermere across the lake. Mushrooms! How oh, have I never been here before? They're hard to find at first, but soon I'm seeing them everywhere. Got a new mushy that looks exactly like this one. Do I have room for you? I kind of don't, so... Let's scoot you in here like that. Okay, that was an easy enough one. Next person! It's our Simone. <coughs> Excuse me. Lord Fremont told me he was able to help you find some information on the servant. I've been looking all over the library, but all I've discovered is a mold problem. I hoped you might have some sweet breath that could help clear it up. I'm sure I do, but I don't know what it is. <sighs> oh. Mm, oh, Pallians. You just called it something different. 
Most plants offer a small improvement to the air quality, but the palliance is a class of its own. It's sometimes called sweet breath thanks to the freshness of the air and in its vicinity. The, mo the many short leaves of this plant are thought to be, or thought to help filter toxins from the surrounding air. It feels like it's only going to be this one. But let's take a look if there's anything else that we have that's unnamed that has leaves kind of like that. Um, pleasant fresh aroma. These leaves don't look correct. I'm honestly just going to go with that one. <laughs> so then it feels like the only other one is this one. Yeah, okay. So it's meant to help people but not ingested. So that'll be red. Very nice. Put you away, sweet thing, and take our next customer. Lorena Chapman. My cousin will be married in three days. Please don't ask me to kill someone. <laughs> if you if you got some tremble huff, then it'd save me the trouble of going out to find some myself. If you knew my cousin, you'd know she's not worth the trouble. Ooh. Rude. Trimble huff. The trimble huff is traditionally used as decoration at weddings and is thought to strengthen relationships. A cross section of the small cup like flowers, they generally point downwards to avoid filling with water and allow easy access for the pollinating insects. Okay, so maybe I just misunderstood her. You knew my cousin, you know she's not worth the trouble. So, what, you're hoping for strength in her marriage? I misunderstood entirely. Okay, so we are looking for a downturned um, flower that we haven't already named. These are all named. A downturned flower. You kind of look like it. They don't have the little things that come out, so I feel like it's not that one. Uh oh. Maybe I mislabeled something. I always have like a big fear of that. Like, did I mess something up? Bell like flower and heart shaped leaves. No. That's not a flower, though. Hmm. Do we have a downturned flower like that anywhere else? I don't think we do. So I feel like it has to be this one. Dark red damp flower. Hmm. I'm not feeling so confident in this one either. Didn't I use this one? No, I used this one. Right? Yes. It's this one. Yes. -um. You're in the wrong spot, by the way. Trimble Huff. So it's helpful, but not ingested, so we'll go red. And you're in the wrong location, I'm not sure how you got down here. Let's put you with your blue babies. Probably in here, I think. Geez, that day feels like it went fast. I want to think a little bit more on this. Enable any drinker of it to overcome their sense of fear, though it should be considered beforehand that fear is not always a bad thing. For example, it would not be wise to drink this near the edge of a cliff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a five pointed star to grant courage, which I feel like I was discussing this last time, and I feel really confident in this. I 
I feel really confident in this. A red flower to protect the mind. Okay, so we're either looking at St. John's Poppy, Eye Bright. Mm, I'm gonna just guess that this is a pod, a seed pod. It looks like a seed pod to me. Okay, let's look these up. Beaver kiss. Where is fever kiss? Energy boost that lasts for several hours. That's not it. Weeping bell. Let's see if any of these aid the mind. Luck to gold. No. Meek do. touching it. It's difficult to hear for so that's not it. Eye bright. Known to improve eyesight, so that's not it. St. John's Poppy I don't think is it, but we'll still just double check. Rather that greatly improve hearing, so not the mind. So we have one, two, three red. But it's a flower, right? Not a fruit. A red flower to protect the mind. I want damp dark red flowers. I'm going with this one. Oh, you just got rid of my seed pod, rude. Is it because I put these in a wrong order? I'm gonna lose my mind. <gasps> okay, so I made a mistake somewhere. I think I read this wrong. It's supposed to be a pointed flower, right? Oh god, I'm gonna lose my mind. Why am I supposed to undo this now? Oh. <laughs> I was a little scared there that I was going to kill someone. Okay, overcome their sense of fear. We're gonna go with yellow because you are ingesting it. Clinton's elixir. Whoa, elixir. Yellow for ingesting. I don't know why I felt so called to do that now. I about killed myself so we cannot make another mistake. I think it resets at the end of the day, so it's fine. Eight miles to the east. I bet you this is that great tree. The shepherd watches she prepared the leaves and roots that she would require. He watches the hours drag by, the sun set, and she worked by candlelight, at times sitting still, at times moving like a dancer among the stones. The change happened suddenly, but also subtly, so that at first the watcher was not sure that anything had happened. Then he saw it. Next day, next day, next day. Day of 14 on a Thursday. <laughs> okay. Let's put this in here. First we have to pet. Kiwi. Put this in our clues and let's see what we can find, girl. Okay. Where's my clue? Eight miles to the east, if I am correct. The great tree. The great tree is here. Wait, wait. It's the one above these, so... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> that was wrong. <laughs> was there that symbol on anything? I just kind of jumped the gun. No, there's not a tree there. 
Hmm. <laughs> okay. We are going to take our first patron of the day, and then we'll probably do that first as soon as we um, get the ability to figure it out. Uh, sorry. Thora Dunn. Well, he went... Whoa, whoa, hold on. I, uh, he went and ate those bloody mushrooms, and of course now he is sick. Is there anything we can do? He's in a bad way, and I'm worried about him. Yes, there is, because I know something. Often fatal. An antidote can be made using royal genti- genti- gentilia? Gen- gentia? <laughs> I feel like we already found this. I'm just going for it. Oh, yes. So it's an antidote. Okay, so that was helpful. Um, we can't quite travel yet, but let's water things. You know you want to let me travel. Oh, we're good. We are good. Okay. <gasps> There's a tree here. Gosforth. Gosforth. Okay. Eight miles to the east. Wow. How did I not see that before? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. Gazing at the still water of the lake, its black waters draw me into a reflection, reflective trance. Here and there, flowers that I don't recognize grow along the bank. Ew, a blue, ew, a blue and a green one. I really, really want to be going back in here to identify these, because, excuse me, I have a feeling. Do we leave this in the yellow? I don't think we leave this in the yellow. We'll move you down here in the blue. Um, I have a lot of plants to identify, but I don't exactly know where they go. And these were like squished in here that don't belong here. And I think this goes a little bit further down. Okay, let's put these back. You were in here and you go over here to the red one. Okay, I think that's all good. Let's take... We already have that one labeled, right? Yes, we do. Oh, no. I've been to Blackcomb. I have fought the servant and lived, but still my adversary stands. It must be defeated. For my part, I am ashamed to say that I am done. Ooh, did I not make that at the perfect time, or did I make that at the perfect time? And my soul could use the tonic of Quint St. Quentin Elixir if I'm ever to recover from the horror that I've seen. Well, Mr. Forrest Ver, I got you covered. Very cool. You're this other purple one. So I feel like we honestly should go through our thing and see which plants we can identify based on the description and the imagery of them. But first, we'll take a letter from our homie, his eyes I keep forgetting. This is a hateful man I sometimes see around town. He's called Isidore Burbage. Yesterday I saw him bending down as though to pet a stray dog, but instead he punched it as hard as he could. Oh my god. I rushed over and the coward fled. Let's beat him up. Someday he'll get his comeuppance. Truth. I'll help provide that. Sagil chalice. We already know how this works. The chalice is where? Here. Okay. I've learned my mistakes the hard way there. Okay, so the sagil will be right here. Or not the sagil, the, the chalice. Why did I say sagil? That was the name of the place. The chalice glue takes me directly to the south of Sagil to spot next to the river. Moss-covered rocks line the banks, velvet to the touch. In the moist conditions, a deadly-looking plant grows abundantly in lush grass. Fingers crossed it's black. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. 
Next customer. What's up, Ruben? How's your day going? Rona tells me you're working on gathering the plants for a ritual that will help us defeat this, this creature. Possibly. I want to help in any way I can. I'm going to take a sip of water. From what Verona told me, I think this might be one of the plants needed to perform the ritual. But I'm afraid I do not want to know where it can be found. Okay. Thanks, bud. Next customer, Molly Bell. I keep forgetting about the poor cat. My daughter is getting married and I need to I want to decorate the church with nice flowers. I believe there is a plant with a small blue like flower that's supposed to bless their union. Wasn't it this one? Oh, I'm good. <laughs> she says after she guesses the right plant for probably the second time in the whole game. <laughs> I mean without doing research. Specifically just going based off memory. Anise. Ennis. I don't know. I can't help notice that Dreyer Huntsman is still alive. You don't seem to understand the importance of our work here. If you are not with us, then you are against us. When the redemption comes, and it will come, you will regret your actions. Yo, I am just a horticulturist. I give people what they ask for, not what they tell me to do. Praise the Dendru. Mmm. Whatever, bro. See you later. Have a good one. End of the day. Okay. Let's jump into this next day full force and see what happens. The cave gives way to new growth from death life. The cycle starts again west of the white scar by the river. Okay. Behind the woman, a dark skeletal figure began to rise and a low primal snarl sounded across the clearing. The shepherd turned and ran, cold fear cons coursing through his veins. He did not run for long. So we're working our way to the full moon there. Um, and I think before we end this day, since I'm doing three days an episode, before we end this one, I'm going to go through our book and just see what else I can identify or tag just based on things that I feel, I guess, I guess. Okay. Um, 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 um. Okay, 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 okay. What was our thing? The cycle starts again west of White Scar by the river. Where's White Scar? West of White Scar. By the river. It didn't say over the river. And through the woods. <laughs> White scar. I don't see anything white scar. Mm. I don't see anything named white scar. Maybe I'm just like misunderstanding and this is not a helpful clue because there isn't anything named white scar. Oh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Okay. Go west by the river. Okay. Nice. The sun bleach skull fixes me with a black eyed gaze, a reminder from the chest of the skeleton a plant grows. Ooh, she pretty. Okay, I have a, f a lot of plants that I feel like I can identify need to identify or can work on that. I lived in Undermere all my life and I've never seen the people as worried as they are now. Everyone's talking about the sisterhood and the servant. Somebody needs to do something to stop that beast. I was speaking to a woman from Arnside who told me of a cave nearby that locals stay away from. Apparently there is a strange plant that grows there, but the cave is believed to be haunted. Unfortunately, she was vague about where the cave was, somewhere to the east, was all she could say when I pressed her. Okay, so east of Arnside. 
let's head on out. I know that I've read this name somewhere, but you know me, it's gonna take me a minute to find it. Um... Boodle. <laughs> or inside. Okay, east. It's gotta be the cave that we literally just didn't go inside. But we're right next to, right? Somewhere to the east. Okay. A thin crack runs down the rock face, widening as it nears the ground, just wide enough for a man to slip through. But there's a problem. A large boulder blocks the entrance, too heavy to move. Do I even have this labeled? I do not, so let's figure it out. A spongy-like mushroom. Let's, let's scoot over to our mushes. Spongy-like mushroom. With potent abilities only safe to consume in small quantities. Grant strength for short periods at the expense of severe fatigue once the effect has worn off. So it's either got to be this. Red caps have a spongy texture. Looks eerily like a ghost hand. Smells rotten. And I feel like we just got the information for this earlier. I'm gonna go with this one. Nice. Farmer's worry is what we are going to identify it as. It's a mushroom, you eat it. So I gotta go ingestible. Why is it called farmer's worry? First of all, that's a very interesting namesake for it. Okay. I believe that we can then check... Oh. I think I gotta collect the pants and that'll... Okay, I'm sorry. Time out. I'm surprised how easily I am able to roll away the boulder with the help of the farmer's worry. As my eyes adjust to the darkness, I discover several clusters of fungi growing there, reaching out desperately to the thin strip of light provided by the crack. We got two new mushies. I want to scoot you babes down over here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Maybe I scoot these ones down over here too. And then... Put you guys up here. Put that in our archives, scooch this over, and take our next customer, which is Faye Swift. Why can't I remember? There was something important. I don't know... I know there was, but there is only darkness now. Okay. Okay, Sour Bandy. The Sour Bandy can help with memory recovery, especially if the memory has been deliberately sabotaged. That sounds suspicious. The name of this plant derives from the fact that although edible, the large statum is extremely bitter to the taste. Mm. I don't think it's a mush. Do we have anything that looks like this that isn't named? No, no, no. These aren't it. This isn't it either. Bitter to the taste. It's gotta be this one? No. Ooh, I don't know. Somewhat pungent. Hmm, I'm trying to think of what... Okay. Sour Bandy. I don't have anything that really looks like that. The leaves still smooth and soft underneath. The large stadium seems to be a source. That odor. Oh, well, duh. Our bandy. Do, 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 do. Although edible. Well, it's edible. Oh, you were telling me stuff. I'm so sorry. It's coming back. It happened in a dream. The woman in the jade mask was screaming at me to get out. Instead, I went deeper. I entered the mind of the creature. It was like slipping into a dark pool. 
Icy cold with who knows what terrors lurked beneath the surface, I felt powerful. Then suddenly something happened. She tore me tore me out and my mind went dark. I've not been myself lately. Okay. Sour bandy. Uh which one were we just using? It's ingested, eaten to help people. So I don't know if my like color system is really all that fancy. Alden Gregory. My wife of 30 years is dying. That is the truth of it, as painful as it is to say out loud. The doctors say there is nothing they can do, but I cannot sit by and wait for it to happen. You want me to give you something to kill her? The man at the hospice let slip about a plant-based elixir. I don't think he meant for me to hear it, but I did and that's all I can think about. Okay, I understand the risks, but any price is worth paying if it means she doesn't have to die. Oh, you! I thought you wanted to kill her. <laughs> Please, I'm begging you. Good thing I've already made that. <laughs> I thought you wanted to kill her, not keep her alive. I'm so awful. I'm always assuming the worst. Thea O'Shea, what a delightful shop you have. I'm only in town for a brief visit, but I heard I might be able to get a hold of some liver stone here. I'm sure I have it, girl. Liver stone. Hmm, caution is advised when handling this plant due to some strong paralysis, par paralyzing agents contained within. What's she doing with this, girl? The liver stone is a mushroom with pointed caps it's this one without a doubt not questionable really at all no see i don't think it looks like that i think it's still this one. Oh no but this doesn't have the little thing underneath kill her Ooh. okay then it is this one. Oh god It's this one. <laughs> I should have just looked at that. Oh my gosh. Liver stone. Paralyzing. Oh, we're going purple with that. That's not a nice one. Its intention is to harm, for sure. Okay. Next guest in man is our Jade Mask Lady. Can't control it anymore. This has all gone too far. I never meant for it to for it to turn on my sisters. Is this the dead Arda? Or is this the other one? It's too strong. I'm trying to hold it back, but it wants to kill. That's all it wants. Death, death, and more death. You have to help me here. Widow's woe or dead man's fingers. This is dead man's fingers. I don't even gotta second guess that. Let's see what widow's woe is. Do we have dead man fingers in here? The fungus is typically found in dense forests, protruding through the mulch. At a glance, it can appear as though a corpse is reaching up from the underground. So just strengthen, resolve, and sharpen mind. I'm gonna already name this. Dead man's fingers. It's a mushroom. You ingest it. I don't even need a second guess that. I want to see what Widow's Woe is. I'm trying to fight back. You have to help me. Okay, let's see what Widow's Woe is. Said to induce fear. Oh, I don't want to give you fear. Also called Kempfoot, partly, partly due to its unpleasant scent. Dank, dark flowers grow out from a bed of thin, long leaves. I mean, I want to identify it even if I don't use it. Somewhat dark, damp smell. Uh, I'm gonna go Widow's Woe with this. And I may be wrong, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. And I'm definitely not giving you that one because I don't want to freak you out more. So we're gonna go with Dead Man's Fingers. I want to help you, not hurt you. Okay, next person. 
Hollis Gibb. There's been talk over the last few nights down the Royal Oak of a servant creature going around slaughtering people. Oof. I used to enjoy walking the hills, but I daren't leave my house now. I don't blame you. I've decided to bring nature to me in the meantime. The glow of a few pixie lamps would sure do my heart good. Glowhorn feels like it's going to be this because it puts off light. Yes. I don't even need to read it. I mean, I should because I've been reading everything else. Um, the Glowhorn or Forest Lantern or Pixie Lamp is phosphorescent, illuminating the trees that it grows under. Suspicious travelers avoid walking towards it, fearing that the faint lights will lure them into their demise. It's almost like a siren thing. So we're going to go red because it's helping people, but not ingested. And it's definitely not hurting anyone. Okay, and since we are at the end of this day, I'm going to spend some time, hopefully I don't go too far over my time, to try to figure some of these out. A powerful bomb against diseases of the heart. It would not be a cure once the illness has set in, but it can ease pain and prolong life. It has long rounded leaves and the flower that smells like strawberries. Round very delicate flower. I feel like we've read about one that smells good like that. Mm. Looks like you. Strawberries, yep. Umbrella. Powerful bomb, so this helps people and it's a bomb so it's not ingested. So we're gonna go red. Okay. I haven't solved it yet, but I do want to label some of these. In the north is Andrew's Bane, after the unfortunate demise of a man called Andrew Jarden. He was caught and slowly eaten alive by a large specimen of the Torrin. Revealed in the occult world, a cross section of the Torrin stones reveals pentagon symmetry. Okay, I'm not even going to try to figure that one out. Caldery, we already have this one labeled. Devil's Nightcap. This plant is known to Kalaliqui. Kalaliqui? Kalaliqui? Colloquially? There you go. Colloq. Oh my goodness. Colloquially. <laughs> as a corpse's friend. If ingested as a seed, it will grow cause a slow, agonizing death, and the plant will grow out of the body once deceased. Holy cow. That looks like the that's the thing that was growing in the I guarantee you that was what was in that skeleton that we found. Um, it has a light, pleasant scent, not dissimilar to pine needles. Boiling the root of the vinegar creates a tonic against fever and poisons. So it can really hurt you, but also really help you. Hmm. I wasn't paying good enough attention to any of these to go through it. I'm not going to take up more time scrolling through these. I am going to read through this and try to figure out what the rest of these are. Um, but let me end the day and then when I come back in the next episode, which will hopefully be our last, um, I'll have everything labeled then and it'll probably be a short one since it feels like we're at the end of our journey. Um, the east of the castle across the river and through the mountain pass. It grows at the edge of the wood. She finally had the power she had craved for all these years, a servant to do as she willed, but that power came at a cost. The servant was awoken, and it would not be contained. It was the dendru, the dread. It was death. So clearly we only have one more day left. Um, if I can, I'll go through and read all this at the end. That's where we're gonna end this episode, even though we are rolling into day 16. Day 16 and identifying all the plants um, will be its own entire episode for the last one. But thank you so much, babes, for watching. This has been such a fun game. I know it's not exactly over yet. Um, I believe I was looking up on STEM, STEM, STEAM, 
that in total there are 77 plants to identify so unfortunately i've noticed that it only is identified and checks off in our book as something if we've given it to someone and it's been confirmed so even though i've gone through and labeled a few of these like the caldery i know that we've already labeled this one we haven't actually used it so it hasn't checked it off here so with only one day left, I'm not exactly sure how that happens or if it will happen or if this is meant to be like a multiple playthrough kind of situation. And then when I pick, I feel like I've chosen very neutral options here. Clearly there's been several times where I can choose to hurt someone or help them and I've always chosen to help the specific person that's come in, not help the person that wants to hurt someone, if that makes sense. So I have a feeling like through the playthrough of it, choosing different options will allow me to kind of use these in a different way um, and get these checked off. So I may not be able to like complete that as an objective here. Um, like I said, given the fact that there's one more day and I have many of these unnamed, many of them unconfirmed. Um, but yeah, that's where I'm going to end this episode. We'll roll it out with petting the cat like usual. And oh my goodness, I will see you guys in the next one, which will at least be the last episode in this very first playthrough. If I'll do it again in the future, I'm not sure, um, but we're going to end it here. And pet the kitty. Okay, bye!